In this video, I'm just going to review the Publish to YouTube option uh, that has been updated a little bit in Adobe Captivate 9. So I'm just about to upload one of my videos to YouTube that I've prepared. I've got all my uh, video demo effects and so forth ready to go. And it's created the video and now I'm presented with um, a, a different interface. So if you've used the the previous interface that you'd be familiar with in Adobe Captivate 8 and Adobe Captivate 7. Uh, in, in 9 you'll see this new interface here. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to click Login and here you'll enter in um, your login for Google, in this case specifically for uh, YouTube. So I'm just going to put in my Gmail address here, click Next it's going to prompt me for my password which I'll enter and then click sign in and then we'll see uh, this here so uh, I need to select an account uh, so if you have multiple accounts like I have a Gmail page dedicated to uh, my you know my my organization and just one for my YouTube so uh, in this case here we're just going to select that and then you're you're going to reach this permissions page. Adobe Captivate would like to manage your YouTube account, manage your YouTube videos. If you accept that, then click the accept button. Uh, alternatively, you wouldn't be able to proceed. So now we're going to enter some details about this particular um, about this particular video. So this is going to be called Adobe Captivate hyphen working with images on question slides will be the title. Um, the description in this video. Now of course remember once you've uploaded this to YouTube uh, you can change this of course it's all editable so I'm just gonna put something in here in this video I will show you oops, show you how you can work with images on question slides. Nothing too elaborate there. Um, you can go straight to public if you wish, private or unlisted. The difference between these is public, of course, is available for anyone to find and play on YouTube. Private requires that, uh, or, or it, uh, it's completely private. The only person who has access to it is you. Unlisted means that anyone with the link to your video could watch it, but it's not searchable. If you were to search YouTube, you wouldn't find your video. Uh, in this case here, I'm going to go with private because I may want to make some changes, uh, you know, like put annotations and things like that and uh, check off that you've read the terms and conditions and then click the upload button and then you'll see a, a progress bar appear on your screen. So I've jumped ahead a little bit so you don't have to sit there and wait for the upload process to take place. We're at about 97 percent right now so it should be finished uploading to YouTube momentarily but again you're, you're given this progress bar so you could go away during this period, make a sandwich or something and come back to your computer once it's all done. 98% so it should just be a minute or so. 99 and um, it should be 100%. So now your video will be processed by YouTube. So now the video has been successfully uploaded to YouTube. You can now close this window and either return to your uh, video demo project and save the work that you've done uh, or you know proceed on to YouTube to do whatever uh, changes and setups that you wish to use. Uh, add annotations and uh, cards and so forth and so on. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And hey, if you thought this video was uh, informative and useful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.